What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. My bad about the sun, the glare. Um, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna do y'all daily reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Man, y'all, I was being extremely tired. Like, I just feel like either somebody's like doing readings on me or people pulling on my energy. Because I've just been feeling extremely tired. Like, I'm sleepy now, but... Or, I don't know, my sleep pattern just been off. Um, I don't know if it's because Onyx, she be staying up all night. But it is what it is. I'm here. Okay? So, please like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. And we gonna tap in, okay? Um, Okay. First card we got out here, it says calling the storm. So, um, this lady, she's holding this wand. She got these antlers on. Um, she got on this like red scarf or whatever this is. So for some of you, you can be like a queen of wands energy, or you could be embodying this energy at this time. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this card speaks to like, um, bargaining, um, collective i feel like i feel like you just been going through the emotions you know what i'm saying because this woman is like surrounded by like dark clouds and shit so it may have been like it it may have been or it currently is like a little bit of upheaval going on around you um this could be with family this could be in your relationship this could be with your job but i feel like you're handling it really well you know what i'm saying like you're up for the challenge you're doing what you need to do um, you're standing up for yourself if you need be, or you're just handling it as it comes. I feel like this energy is only temporary, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was also getting collective that somebody wants to fight you on your decision. So that could be what this energy is for some of you. Um, like somebody out here has made a final decision, a decision to move on, a decision to leave a job, a decision to go through with a divorce. And I feel like somebody out here is like trying to fight you on a decision, like real shit. Like, I feel like somebody thought you was bluffing collective, like somebody's trying to call your bluff, but you're not playing with a motherfucker. Like somebody out here is realizing like you are dead ass serious about your decision, like period. And somebody out here is not wanting you to do that, basically. Um, cause cause this card also speaks to like bargaining. So this is like bargaining speaks to like somebody trying to postpone the consequences to their actions. Somebody out here knows that because of this decision that you decided to make. It's going to be some real consequences behind it that they're going to suffer. You know what I'm saying? Somebody knows that, say, like, you're deciding to move forward with a divorce. Somebody knows that behind this divorce is going to come alimony, child support, all this type of shit, legal fees. So it's like somebody's trying to talk you out of this decision that you're making. But I feel like, honestly, Collective, you already got your mind made up because look at her. She looks like some motherfucking warrior. Like, does she look like she playing? Absolutely not. I just seen 3333 three, three, three on my timer. Then we got a new, what is this? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. So Libra is out here, but this is also like the karmic skills being balanced. This is justice. So whatever this decision that you're getting ready to make or whatever this decision is that's being made through the justice system, I feel like it's fair. It's just whatever consequences are coming out um, in regards to this decision being made, whether you're making it or whether the justice system is making it, I feel like it's fair. So this divorce has to happen. This legal contract for some of you, you could be getting a new job that this has to happen, whatever this is, it's time. Like, whatever this is that is happening is balancing out the karmic scale. So, that's what this temporary, like, upheaval is about. You know what I'm saying? It's like some people are not like, they're not liking um, justice being served. They're not liking that. Like, real shit. It's like somebody out here knows that 
there's going to be some consequences behind whatever this legal case is, whatever this divorce is, whatever this new contract is that you're getting. It does say a new romantic cycle begins. So somebody, for some of you, this is you getting into a new relationship. And somebody knows that it's going to be consequences behind that too. Somebody here who took too fucking long to come make amends with you, whether it's friend or lover, they know when you get into this um, new contract where you may meet a new lover or meet a new friend, they know it's over for them. It's like somebody out here does not want the con. They don't want to face the consequences and the repercussions to their actions, but it's too late. The karmic scales is being balanced. Justice is out here, period. And then we got done, completed, lesson learned. So yes, like you are very solid in your decision collective whether this is you deciding to leave a job whether this is you deciding to move forward to date somebody new that you just met and leave your old person behind whether you're deciding to move forward with this divorce whether you're deciding to move forward with this lawsuit you are done like period and then we got we got recalling out here. So this is that Six of Cups energy, reminiscing, memories returning. So it's people from the past that are missing you. Could be an ex specifically that this is referring to, but this could just be referring to people in the past. People out here are nostalgic. They're recalling the memories that they have with you collective, the good times that they spent with you. Um you know, they just miss you. It's like people really are missing you out here, like really, really bad. It's like these people's lives haven't been the same since you've been gone. Like some of you collective, I don't think you realize like what type of impact that you've had on these people or this person in particular. Because then at the bottom of the deck, we have we have lost, ghosted, block, cut off. It says embarrassed appearances threatened and then we got interview talk conversation get on the same page so this is some type of clown ass nigga clown ass bitch from the past that wants to get back on the same page with you this is this person that's trying to avoid these consequences from you making this decision to move forward like for some of you it's just like it's no if ands buts or questions about it you are choosing to ascend you are choosing to make decisions that's going to allow you to have a better quality life, regardless if it's in love, work, career, family, like you're choosing to move on and you don't give a fuck about these people missing you. Like you're done here. It's like, oh, well, enjoy the memories, motherfuckers, because times have changed. Things are different. Okay, let's see. What's the message for the collector? Um, hold on. For some of you, I think I want to read a little bit more into this new moon in Libra card. Because um, that card does speak to if you've been waiting on something legal or dealing with some sort of pending legal case, that card does indicate that it will go into your favor. Let's see. New moon in Libra. Yeah, it says give and take a will be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. Could be beginning. And if that's the case, chances are this will be healthy and will balanced connection. In anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who be open, to, who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish; it won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. So yes, like collective, I feel like, like I said, if you're dealing with a legal case or you're waiting on some sort of contract in regards to like a job offer or something like that i feel like you will be um getting that news soon could possibly be today um or it could be the first week of december i'm hearing 
Yeah, but like I said, like for a lot of you, like this is somebody who wants to negotiate with you. Like you made your mind up about something because you completed a lesson here. You completed this karmic cycle. But somebody out here want, wants to challenge you on your decision. They want to challenge you on leaving this company. They want to challenge you on leaving this relationship. They want to challenge you on, are you sure you want to get this divorce type shit? It's like somebody out here, they, they want to talk th things through and kind of see if you can balance things out. But I feel like collective, you've already got your mind made up like real shit. Then look at that. We got thief on the bottom of the deck. So it's just like, I'm not really sure if you can trust this person. Like real shit. But first card out of the Kipper, we got the lovers. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, but yeah, there's a new romantic connection out here. So some of you have met somebody new recently. Real shit. This could be a lover's connection. Something that has potential. Give me another card. What are you doing, badass? She is so bad, man. <laughs> she be into everything. Yeah, we got main female out here. So some of you, this could even be a woman from the past that's missing you. For some of you, this could be like a sibling or a best friend or somebody that you cut off that you don't fuck with. Who is like reminiscing about you as well so I don't know what you're gonna do about her she's so nosy But somebody out here has a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like for some of you, this person from your past had a choice between you and somebody else. They chose somebody else over you, which was the wrong option to be choosing. Now they want to come in and like renegotiate with you. No, there's no renegotiation about shit. You chose up. That's who you wanted to be with. So you keep your ass over there. I feel like this person is threatened and embarrassed. Like whoever this person is, if they chose to be with over you, has like embarrassed them for for a lot of y'all feel like it's public embarrassment as well leave that alone she is so bad um yeah then we got ascension and bad health somebody out here is literally going into bad health because you're choosing to move on to elevate to move forward in your life to level up to go on your spiritual path, to go on, to uh, awaken, to wake up, to leave the matrix. Somebody out here is sick because you don't want to stay behind and play these little toxic, dumbass, stupid ass games with them. Like real shit, bad health. Yeah, poverty on the bottom of the deck. For a lot of you, this person is not doing well. For some of you, this person may be facing jail time. For some of you, uh, if it's not like actual jail time, for some of you, this person is in spiritual jail. With the eight, this is like eight of swords energy. For some of you, this person is in spiritual jail. They feel stuck somewhere. They feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're not doing well financially. Some of them could be facing poverty or homelessness. And like I said, I feel like if this person is like blocked from you on social media and shit, they have someone who is like reporting back to them and letting them know what's going on with you. And whatever, whoever the mole is or whoever this person is, this little mouse that's going back and telling this person shit, I feel like it's putting them in this eight of swords energy. Like whatever this person is telling them, they probably telling them like, yeah, man, collect them moving on. They don't look like they fucking with you or they interested or da 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 or they got somebody else and da da da. And it's literally sending this person into bad health, real shit. Somebody out here is like, they thought you were playing. They thought you were joking about leaving, about not coming back, about filing a lawsuit, pressing charges. Somebody out here thought you were joking and you're not. So now somebody is just like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was the five of wands that just tried to fall, fall out. So yes, drama, conflict, chaos, disagreements, arguments, pettiness. Like somebody out here is just like, this is like somebody throwing a tantrum tantrum at the last minute. Um, like as you're walking out the door, this is like somebody's like desperate attempt to stop you from leaving. 
you know it's like the fun and games is over like all the spill work all the manipulation all the let me ignore collective and don't say shit to them and that's them that's gonna get them to chase me all that stupid ass shit is just it's done it's over with i don't know what somebody does not fucking get here like that shit is lame and it's fucking immature and nobody is finna keep playing with you out here like this is real life they were talking about it somebody think this shit is a fucking joke and it's not like nobody is sitting around waste. We're on borrowed time here on earth. Like nobody got time to be doing anything than anything less than that than that anything less than what's gonna make them happy. Like real shit. Somebody out here like plays too fucking much. It's like ridiculous. Like how fucking old are you? And that poverty card, if so, some of you, this person could be really facing homelessness. But if it's not homelessness, this is just abandonment. Like somebody out here feels left out in the cold. Like nobody fucks with them anymore. And it's true. Because like this person's fucking childish and immature. Like nobody wants to hang out with somebody that refuses to grow the fuck up. Friend or family member. Yeah, look at that Mars. Aries. Some of you be dealing with the Aries, but this is that Mars energy, that Mars and retrograde energy. Somebody here is going to try to take some sort of action. They're going to reach out. They're going to call you. They're going to say something. They're going to pop up. They're going to do something to try to negotiate you to stop you from ascending. But it's not going to fucking work. Yeah, it could be a Libra. So Libra, you could be getting into it with somebody it, somebody today. That Mars energy is like that five of wands shit. So you could be getting into it, having a disagreement, an argument or something with somebody. It's too many cards. Moon card, um, Cancer. So Aries, Libra, and Cancer is out here. There could be a Cancer and a Libra getting into it. Virgo is out here. One more. Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we got Jupiter, so Sagittarius energy. Already pre shuffled this deck. Well, I say uh, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Virgo, and Pisces is out here. And Sagittarius was on the bottom of the deck. So those are the main players out here right now. So that could be you. That could be the person that you're dealing with. Or that could be the other person of, you know, the person that your person is dealing with. Queen of Pentacles, this is you. You're focused on your money. You're focused on this stability. You're focused on this new opportunity, this project. Some of you are focused on work. You're just focused on your bag. You're taking care of yourself, your home, your children. Um, some of you could be cleaning up and shit. It's just like you're focusing on your priorities right now with the Queen of Pentacles. Or somebody could be viewing you like this as well. If you've met somebody new recently, they're viewing you as the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who is stable. Somebody who takes really good care of themselves. Somebody who could, who could potentially be wifey material with the um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, this is this fake ass friend out here for some of you. Um, this could be somebody that you work with with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Um, some of you, this could be a Virgo, but yeah, it's a woman out here who feels some type of way towards you, but this woman is fake. It's just like your energy intimidates this woman. 
you're the queen of pentacles you look good um you always take care of yourself you dress nice you take care of your kids you work you get to the motherfucking bag it's just like you you're about your business whoever this is she's not nine of pentacles reverse she's a fraud she's a con she's somebody who wants to be like you but she's really not you know what I'm saying? This whoever this is, she could call herself a business owner, but she really not. Um, the nine of pentacles reverse is a gold digger. So this is the type of female who either uses men as a way to make money or sells coochie as a way to make money and shit. Like she think finessing niggas or finessing motherfuckers is a hustle and shit. She think that's her real business, but it's not. Nine of pentacles, she's insecure as fuck, broke as fuck. Um Yeah, this is a type of woman who likes to live above her means type shit. So for some of you, I don't know how you're related to this woman or who she is to you, but it's like she got this smug look on her face when it comes to you. Look at her. So yeah, I don't know who the fuck that is, but it's, it came out under recalling and reminiscing. So for some of you, you know this person. This could be a childhood friend, somebody that you grew up with, a sibling. For some of you to be related to this person. Because I really feel like it's more than one person from your past that's like on this type of time with you. Yeah, then we got the nine of wands. So whoever this is that's in this bad health. Um, for some of you, this person could have recently like had like a car accident or injury or something. They could have been recently like hospitalized because this is bad health. He looks like he's laying in a hospital bed here. And then in a lot of wines, he has bandages on his head. So something could have actually happened to this person recently. They could have gotten some type of fight or altercation or accident or something that landed them in the hospital or landed someone in the hospital. Um, but yeah, this person's like, this person wants to fight for you with the nine of wands. This person is not ready to give up, but at the same time, the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So this person is irritated. They got an attitude. They're pissed off. Um, they're very defensive. Their guard is up with the nine of wands. It's just like, or you could have blocked this person. the queen of pentacles here it's like i feel like you're not paying these people any attention you're focused on your money on your coin on your stability something that has to do with the home Yeah, justice. I'm telling you, something's coming in for you, collective. Some of you are getting like some sort of settlement or payout or something. Um, this is karmic justice. Justice is out here twice in two different decks. For some of you, this new contract is justice. So this new this new relationship is justice. This new contract is justice. This new job is justice. This settlement, whatever this is, is justice for you. It's going to, so if some of you have been worried about like finances or something, I feel like something is going into your favor to where you're going to be com feeling comfortable and secure again with the Queen of Pentacles and the Justice card here. Lines of justice out here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, two of cups. I'm telling you, this is a new contract. This is a new contract, a new partnership. For some of you, you're meeting a new business partner. You're getting ready to collaborate with somebody with the justice and the two of cups. So for some of you, it's different. For some of you, this is a new romantic connection. Um, something that you're someone that you're connecting with. Like real shit. This could have recently came in. Or this could even be a new friend because Two of Cups is friendship too. So this could be like a, a business slash 
a, a friend slash business partner for some of you. And I feel like it's solid because the justice is upright. The two of cups is upright. The queen of pentacles is upright. So this is like a good collaboration. This is a good contract, a settlement. I feel like you're connecting with somebody with the two of cups. It's like mutual, whatever this is. I feel like the energy is just flowing back and forth easily. So there's like a, um, a nice flow or a nice consistency between you and this person. But the Two of Cups speaks to partnership. So this is you partnering. Some of you could be partnering with a Libra or you could be partnering with a Queen of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Or like I said, this could just be like a new business contract. Um, the the uh, Justice card speaks to contracts and legalities and shit. So for some of you, this could even be, this could be a new lease that you're signing. Maybe you, you, you're, you get... You get the call for the new home, so you have to go sign documents or something like this is what this is. But the lovers is out here, so for some of you, this is like a new connection, a new relationship. I was just hooked up. seven of pentacles yeah some of you have been waiting on this i'm telling you if this hasn't came in already it's like literally getting ready to i'm telling you like like in a matter of hours or a matter of like a day or so this is getting ready to come in because with the seven of pentacles reverse some of you have been worried about money like some of you maybe money has been coming in slow or like you had an extra expense or an extra bill come in or uh, I don't know. It's just something out here where somebody's like worried about finances. That's the seven of pentacles reverse. It's like somebody out here is getting frustrated. They're getting tired of waiting on this to come in, but it's getting ready to happen. That's the seven of pentacles. I mean, seven of pentacles reverse. Yeah, high priestess, and that's the truth. Intuitively, you know this is coming. A lot of you just don't know what day, what time. Like, you don't know exactly when it's coming, but you know it's on the way. But that's why you're getting frustrated. Seven of Pentacles reversed with the high priestess. It's like you know that it's a blessing getting ready to come in from somewhere. You just don't know where, who, how, or what time with the high priestess. <laughs> Why is the nine of pentacles reverse? I feel like that's just for like like this week though. I feel like with the seven of pentacles, because this is seven, like seven days. So for some of y'all just feel like it's just for this week. Whatever this financial like rough patch or this financial worry is like just for like a week. You know, I'm, it's temporary. Like it's not going to be something that lasts that long. It's just... Is making you impatient because collective, I feel like you're the type of people that like to know. You like to know where your money is at, where your money is going, where your money is coming. Like you're that type of person. So having to wait or trying to figure out where this is going to come from, because I feel like your your spirit guys with the high priestess here, your spirit guys have been dropping hints on you that something is getting ready to come in. And maybe you've been like looking for you like, OK, spirit, well, where is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you're just like, oh, my God, like, that shit is really getting to you. But I feel like your know, spirit is getting ready to just be like, all right, girl, here it is, justice. Because <laughs> the justice is out here twice. So for some of you, this literally could be today or no later than, like, the first week of December. Because I'm telling you, like, with the seven of pentacles reverse out here, that's something, like, not lasting longer than a week. At least for me as a reader. Um, why is the nine of pentacles reversed? Hold on, it's two cards. Nine of pentacles reversed. 
here, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person wants a new opportunity with you. Whoever this fake-ass bitch is wants a new opportunity with you, especially as soon as you get this justice, whatever this settlement is, whatever this new job is, whatever this lump sum of money is, whatever the fuck this is that you get, here comes this fake gold-digging-ass bitch, Ace of Wands, who wants a new opportunity. They want to re-spark something here with you. For some of you, it could be a Virgo. But it's like somebody wants to start something new with you because they see you with this new opportunity. They see you with this new contract or whatever. Because I'm like, whatever this is that you get collective. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is something for some of you. You may keep it quiet with the high priestess. You're not telling nobody that you're getting this settlement. You're not telling nobody that you got this new job or this new money or something. You're not telling a lot of people about this with the high priestess. But I feel like people are still going to be able to tell. They're going to know something is up. Because I feel like, you know, Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be looking good as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, for some of you, you might pop out with some new shit on when you get this new settlement. Be careful, though. Like, make sure you put something up for a rainy day. Just don't spend all your money. But I still feel like you're going to buy yourself something nice type shit. Because that's what the Queen of Pentacles does. She's big on self-care. So I feel like you're going to buy yourself something nice. And I feel like based on you having whatever this new item is, people are going to be like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to raise some eyebrows. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, you're keeping it to yourself, high priestess. But tell me about this um, Ace of Wands. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, now somebody wants a relationship with you with the four of wands. But see, this is the, the ace of wands plus the four of wands is the five of wands. So whoever this fake ass bitch is, is like hating on you. She's jealous. Nine of pentacles reversed with the five of wands. She's jealous because some of you, you you got a, some new dick and you got a new home or it's something going on with your stability that you're getting. Like, some of you are going to be feeling really, really secure here really soon because of something that comes in. Whatever this justice is, this new relationship, this new job, this settlement, whatever this is that comes in for you is going to have you feeling extremely, like, secure. It's like money is not even going to be something that you're tripping off of. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to just be minding your business, living your life. But it's a bitch out here, nine of pentacles reverse, whose business is suffering or who didn't been out here like selling pussy or she insecure about her looks, about her clothes and all this type of shit. It's like a materialistic ass bitch out here. Like she's the nine of pentacles reverse, a gold digger, somebody who lives above their means and shit like that. And then it's a real queen of pentacles out here. Somebody who really has their own business um, they have a good job or, you know, they have a husband with a good job that takes care of their needs. And it's a hating ass bitch out here. Like real shit. And four of wands with the ace of wands. I'm telling you, it's a new something new is out here for you. Um, For a lot of you, this is some new dick out here, though. Real shit. So some of you could be having sex for the first time with somebody at your house, four of wands. Or at their house. I have the ace of wands with the four of wands here. For some of you, this could be a twin flame type of shit if you subscribe to that journey. But it could be like a real twin flame. So this could be like a like a twin who's done the work type shit since it's in the upright. And like I said, for some of you, this is that new home. Like you're closing on this new house type shit. If you've been waiting, hoping that you get it and shit, I feel like they're going to offer it to you. Collective. Off the four. Four lines. Some of you can even be getting married with the justice and the queen of pentacles and the four of wands out here. Some of you could be. Somebody could be proposing to you and you say yes type shit. Why is the four of wands? Yeah, seven of wands. Uh -uh. 
Seven of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Wands, I'm telling you, it's like you're going to have to defend yourself. Queen of Wands with the Seven of Wands, because look at that person's face on both of the cards. It's like you're going to have to defend yourself from someone or something because somebody doesn't want you to have this, get this. Like Seven of Wands with the Queen of Wands, it's like, no, you're divinely protected. So you may end up having to block somebody or block whoever this is. Because I'm telling you, it's somebody out here who's trying to get you to like renegotiate on what you're getting ready to move forward and somebody here doesn't want you to do that queen of wands but you're standing in your power queen of wands queen of pentacles high priestess seven of wands intuitively you already know what to do for, for so for some of you you're just gonna block this person with the seven of wands like no don't fucking call me because i feel like it's somebody out here who's desperate to like negotiate with you keep you from moving forward um, keep you from leaving like real shit so this could be somebody calling you from a number you never seen before and shit and it's just like no get the fuck out of here what's the queen of wands out here but i'm like y'all look good for the queen of wands Eight of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Like you're folk, you're skilled at something, you're focused on something, you're working on something. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody is gonna be heartbroken because you don't want to work with them anymore. But it's just like the Empress is out here like, you know your worth. So it's just like you're standing on this decision that you decided. Like, you're not like, no, we're not rekindling this. We're not getting back together. There will not be a reconciliation. No, I'm not staying at this job. I don't care. It's like now somebody wants to fight for you, the Seven of Wands. Now they want to give you that pay raise. Now they want to give you that um, relationship that you've been begging them for. Now they want to give you that validation and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know who you are now. The Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Empress. It's just like, no. Like, you are standing firm on your decision. You're standing firm in your power. You are not fucking budging. Like, real shit. Some of you, this could be co-workers with the Three of Pentacles reverse. And that's the Nine of Wands. I mean, yeah, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I'm telling you, this person wants to apologize. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now somebody wants to apologize to you. This person is irritated. They got an attitude. They're in bad health. They're a wounded warrior. They're tired of going through shit. They're tired of the fucking struggle. It's like they're getting beat the fuck up by life. Ever since they left you, did you wrong, did you dirty. Now here they come with this apology with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah, hang man. Somebody is woke now about something. They're enlightened about something now. They've changed their perspective on something. Now they want, want to come apologize. Hang man with the Knight of Cups definitely could be a Pisces. But I feel like you don't trust whoever this is, Nine of Wands, that's coming in with this apology. You do not trust this person. And I really feel like it's going to piss you off. Why some Knight of Cups here? Yeah, Eight of Cups. This is somebody trying to return to you after they left you in the past. Yeah, I feel like you're so annoyed by this. It definitely could be a water sign of Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio heavy on a Pisces. 
But I feel like this shit is just annoying you. Like, for a lot of you collectors, you just want these people to leave you the fuck alone. It's like, can y'all please just find y'all some business, dog? Like, real shit. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Like, this shit backfired. These people or this person, um, they left. They left you to go towards whoever or whatever they thought was better than you and shit. That shit didn't pan out. Now they're reaping karma. They're getting, they're dealing with the consequences to their actions. And now they want to try to rush back towards you because they see you doing good. No. See you looking good, feeling good, doing good. Now they want to be cool with you again. Queen of Swords reverse. So it could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aries out here. That wants to return towards you. This could be whoever this whoever this is. So this could be an air sign woman in your family or a sibling. Or this could just be like um this could just be the energy that she's in with the Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody who's bitter, somebody who's a liar, somebody who's mean and vindictive, somebody who got an attitude problem, somebody who got a smart ass mouth for no fucking reason, just rude. Um, for some of you, she could talk too fucking much. Um, yeah, and the, the, the queen of swords versus somebody who's just miserable. Misery loves company. This is somebody who don't like how their life has turned out based on all the wrong decision that they've made, but it's their fault. Cause like the queen of swords reverse is like somebody who chooses not to heal from their trauma. So now they mad at the world and like to take it out on other people. Queen of Swords reverse is somebody likes to project and they do it verbally. So this is the type of person. Yeah, it's 10 of Cups. So this definitely could be somebody in your family. But th this is like um, the Queen of Swords reverse is somebody who always has something negative to say. Like you could be doing something positive in your life or something positive is happening towards you. This Queen of Swords reverse is always going to have something negative to say or she's going to try to like downplay it or, you know, just put some type of negative twist on it. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Swords reverse, you could be like, Oh my God, like my neighbor made me a cake or whatever the fuck it could be. And the Queen of Swords would just be like, mm, I don't know why you be taking stuff from strangers and shit. It's just like, bitch, shut the fuck up and quit hating. You just mad because people actually like me and don't nobody like your mean, bitter ass. Like, that's the Queen of Swords type of shit. Like, girl. But yeah, this Queen of Swords, you guys, I feel like she's definitely a hater, whoever this is. They're very much bitter, very much miserable, very much a liar, very much spiteful and vindictive and shit. So it's just like, girl. Why is the Ten of Cups here? It's like people out here are just mad because everybody sees your worth now. Like, it's not a secret. Like, people know who you are. You're really that. You're really that bitch. Like, and I'm not even trying to be funny. A high Priestess, Empress, Queen of Pentacles. Like, you're you're that bitch. You look good. You're about your shit. Your shit is together or is really getting ready to be with this justice coming in. Like, you're getting what you deserve. Like, this is, this is karmic justice. This is owed to you from everything you had to endure. You know what I'm saying? And now most of this is like hating. This is like somebody like, well, why do you get that? Why do they deserve that? It's just like, bitch, you know what? Just mind your motherfucking business. Like, real shit. That's what you can do. Cups here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Now motherfuckers want to apologize and shit. But for some of you, this is new love. Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. This is new love. This is a new relationship that could potentially lead to a happy marriage. Like real shit. This Queen of Swords reverse really gonna be bitter because this is what they tried to stop you from, collective. They thought that by stealing your counterpart, sabotaging your connection, that you were never going to find love. They thought they had you broken and down bad and sad when really, bitch, you just made me better. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still getting the Ten of Cups, bitch. Like, it's like when motherfuckers realize they really don't be stopping shit. The only thing they be doing is delaying their own lives. That's the Ace of Cups. Now, motherfuckers, or this, like I said, this could just be a family member. This Queen of Swords reverse is somebody in your family that wants to apologize to you all of a sudden. 
All right, so this could be like an estranged family member that you don't fuck with no more. Now this bitch want to make amends all of a sudden. But she hasn't changed. She's still the shady bitch that she always was. Yeah, Six of Swords, you're moving on. You're like, no, no, thank you, bitch. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. I know you're still a liar. I know you're secretly jealous. I know you still be talking behind my back, starting shit and shit, bitch. No, thank you, Six of Swords. My life has been better since you've been gone, and I'm going to keep it like that. Real shit. Look at that shit. Page of Swords, you guys. Yeah, this bitch is a liar. Like, real shit. Very immature. Very much a liar. Whoever this Queen of Swords University is, she's a pathologi pathological liar. I'm trying to find a high priestess. Yeah, eight of wands reverse. Yeah, this shit is backfiring on these people. This this energy, this chaos magic, this this energy they try to throw out towards you. This is all this um evil eye, gossip, slander, all the lies they told on you. This is this shit backfiring on their ass with the eight of wands reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strength card reverse. For some of you it could be um it could be a Leo. But strength card reverse is like coward type of energy. So these these people who was doing all this shit behind the scenes, but they were too much of a coward to come and face you and shit to really tell you that they had a problem with you collective. Now it's backfiring on their ass. Some of it's affecting these people's health. Some of these people are sick and shit or getting sick. Why is the strength card reverse? Yeah, King of Swords reverse. So it could be a King of Swords out here. So it could be a couple out here, a King and a Queen of Swords reverse. They're like, they're no longer talking to each other and shit. So this could have been your ex and like their bitter baby mama or their bitter ex-wife type shit. They're not even talking anymore. They're going through some sort of tumultuous breakup or divorce and shit. This person was too much of a coward to just stand up to this person knowing, knowing that they weren't happy in their relationship. They were too much of a weak-ass bitch, a too much of a coward to just tell that person, like, look, this is not working out. I'm not happy here, da-da-da-da-da. Like, they failed to do that. They both just stayed in this situation and ended up being m miserable and bitter as fuck. Now shit is backfiring on them and shit. Motherfuckers lying, throwing shade, trying to still come out on top and seem like they're the victor. When really, you were the only one that's winning collective. Empress with the high priestess. And then you knew this was going to happen anyway. You knew that this was going to turn out like this. You knew that this shit would backfire on these people. King of Swords reverse. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. The table's turned on that ass. Karmic cycle is complete. Finito. That shit is over with, okay? So anybody who's still trying to hang on to karmic connections, karmic anything, and the new, the new cycle has started, they are being immediately hit with top towers. I'm talking about shit is just being snatched from under their feet. Real shit. Because, like, the shit is over. Wheel of Fortune is upright. Time is up. It's time for some new shit to start. It's time for the new cycle to begin. The old shit is over with. So a lot of you are seeing these businesses go down. Um, you're seeing people break up, people divorce, all that type of shit. It's because this karmic shit is done. It's over with. Will of Fortune. At least for you, it is, collector. Some of these people still may be struggling with this shit. But for you, collective, the lesson is learned here. It's done. I got an empress. Yeah, two of pentacles. So some of you, you the empress now, the empress and the high priestess. Some of you are having, op you got options now or you're getting ready to. So some of you, you may be talking to somebody, but then I feel like somebody else is going to come in and then you're going to be the one juggling. 
with the two of pentacles i feel like you have people interested in you now yeah one of these people may be a knight of wands reverse so if it's a, if it's a sagittarius be careful or if it's this person from the past be careful as well because i feel like one of these options ain't shit yeah, but the, the, whoever this Knight of Wands reverse is wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. I think the fuck not. This is somebody who's a chronic cheater. They can't control their sexual impulses and shit. This is somebody who will fuck anything and anybody. They'll fuck a bitch soon as she blink too hard type shit. So, no, it's a Knight of Wands out here that wants the Ten of Pentacles with you, but they're not ready for that at all. Right idea, wrong timing. Yeah, I told you, this is your ex. Knight of Wands reverse with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Your ex wants back in with you really, really, really bad. They want the Ten of Pentacles now. But it's too late. This person is not in the right energy to be in the Ten of Pentacles with you. You are the Empress, okay? You've mastered yourself to a certain level you know who you are you're tapped in with you you have boundaries you have standards it's queen princess treatment only this motherfucker is the knight of wands reverse they got some growing up to do they're not even showing up in king energy very immature this is somebody who still acts like a teenager somebody still who gets mad or get an attitude when they don't get their way and all this type of stupid ass shit like no yeah, three of cups, this person wants to reconcile with you. Now they want to hang out. Now they want to date. Now they want to celebrate with you because I feel like you got blessings coming in. Real shit. But it's a missed opportunity. Ace of Pentacles reverse. There will not be a reconciliation. Yeah, this person is miserable. Nine of cups reverse. They're not getting their wish fulfillment and shit. This person's just sitting up drinking, overeating, uh, over smoking. Just miserable as fuck with the nine of cups reverse. High yeah, and you don't give a fuck with the nine of swords. Yeah, you like I'm winning, bitch. Six of wands. I don't care about none of this shit from the past. I don't care about you repeating this cycle. World card reverse. Yeah, four of swords. These people can't sleep. They're repeating the same lesson over with and collective. You are winning. You then leveled up. You are shining. You're getting the attention, the accolades, the flowers that you deserve and shit. And everybody else has to repeat the same lesson, but they want to be on your level. No, they can't be on your level collective because they haven't put in the work. Yeah, Tower Reverse, you dodged the bullet, especially if it was a Scorpio. This person, these people are desperately trying to hang on to you. Four of Pentacles, they are trying to hold on to you for dear life. Like real shit. Yeah, look, they're trying to manifest you. That's why I said some of you have been feeling extremely tired and shit. It's because you got all these people from the past that are pulling on your energy heavy. Yeah, temperance. And they're getting pissed off because it's not working. Temperance reverse. They're trying to manifest you, but it's not working. Yeah, they page of cups. They want to apologize and shit. Queen of Cups reverse. And it's not just your ex. It's the Queen of Cups reverse out here, a Queen of Swords reverse. So these are like old friends. Uh, old estranged family members, people you don't fuck with no more, you haven't heard from. It's all these people are trying to hang on to your energy because they can feel it. Yeah, look at that devil. These people are toxic. They're in this devil energy. They want control. They're obsessing. All this type of weird ass shit. It's just like, yeah, and you're just ignoring it. You're like, two of swords, I don't give a fuck. You can obsess all you want to, bitch. It's over. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, this yeah, this Queen of Swords reverse is bitter about the lack of progress in her life. Three of Swords reverse. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, wherever you left this bitch, when you quit talking to her, she's still in the same spot. She 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 was a hidden enemy with the Three of Wands reverse. She wanted to slow you down to try to be on the same you and her on the same level and shit. No, bitch, we're not. Yeah, five of swords, look at that. Secret animosity, secret competition, jealousy. I'm telling you, and she did you dirty once before, whoever this queen of swords is. She been hating on you. This is secret competition and shit. Jealousy, trying to secretly compete with you and shit. Trying to one-up you and shit. Fuck out of here, bitch. You a loser. Yeah, for some of you, this bitch has been getting readings done on you and shit. Or doing magic on you and shit. Yeah, look, because she's a narcissist with the hierophant reverse. Sick ass bitch. 
Yeah, your ex is a loser too. Like, ew, look at these people. I'm telling you, definitely, it's an Aquarius out here with a star and the six of pentacles who wants to try to make amends with you. But this bitch is a hater too because the five of wands is right behind them. The motherfucker just lost and confused. Seven of cups. Yeah, these people are just like weird as fuck. But anyway, collective, this has been a reading. Please protect your energy. Block all the negativity out. Fuck these people. If you don't want to deal with them no more, don't deal. Period. Um, like I said, this has been Epiphany Tarot. Sorry about the glare, y'all. But please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.